Hi, welcome back guys. Um moving from the table group and going to the illustration group. I have so many things here. Uh I'm I'm just gonna start with the picture. You notice I inserted the table here. I'm going to come to the table later, but for now let's just leave it at that. So if I have um this is a picture, of course we know this. This is a picture. You notice when I click on this table, this picture, there are is an additional three three uh Three, uh, three, uh, three tabs here. That means that this picture is actually inside the table. It looks, it doesn't look as if it's inside the table. I can assure you that it's actually inside the table. Okay, if I, uh, it is actually inside the table. This is the table. This is the table here. You can see the anger for the table. Okay, so I, I can actually change the border here and just put uh, all borders. By selecting all borders, you can see the borders around it. Okay, so this picture is actually inside the table. So I'm, well, I'm not just going to. I'm not going to deal with table now. So let's just go back to pictures. So under the insert, I'm just going to insert picture. To insert picture to your document for illustration, basically you can just pick on picture. So when you click on picture, it's going to bring a lot of pictures that you have in your document. Okay. I have a picture here that I want to use, which is the picture of this family. I got this picture from pixel.com. So I can actually use this picture for free. Okay. So I'm going to click on this picture and um just going to add the picture now the, the size of the picture is minimal meaning that the size is small uh it's not that big okay but i'm just going to try and insert another picture that has a bigger size okay so i'm going to click on this place just select pick the place you want to so a picture come to insert insert picture i'm going to look for a picture that has a big size okay uh let's just let me go to downloads under the picture uh, under the pictures, uh, stock pictures, okay, stock pics. Uh, these are stock pics, and a lot of most of them are uh, as a big size. Okay, so I would just use this um, this bug guy here. What do you notice? You notice that the big, the, the size of this is actually different from this. So at times you insert a picture in your page, and then the picture is covering the whole so how do you do that how do you adjust that you will have to click on the picture then draw for this angle now don't draw from this place you draw from this place there's going to be, i see a lot of people doing this in in documents so drawing from either the top here or from the side here that's not really a good idea okay so you have to drop your picture you draw your picture to this side from this angle so doing this means that you are in, in reducing the size, the, the, the width and also the breadth at the same time. Okay, so there is no pixelation, okay. Pixelation is when you have a picture appearing like this. This is pixelation, okay. So that is the best way, to, that is the, the right way to draw, to adjust the picture size. So uh, I have the picture here. Okay, so what do you notice about this? You will notice that there is an additional tab that appeared here immediately as i inserted my picture which is the format tab okay so this is where you can actually do some manipulation with your picture starting from ch ch changing the color corrections okay you want to adjust the color in terms of the brightness in terms of how dark it is okay you may want to do some 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 manipulations in this picture aha uh -huh. so well, okay make it make it a little bit sharpened and uh, and then if you feel that you've done some corrections that you want to go back to it so you can actually reset the picture so if i click on reset the picture it's going to bring the picture back to where it is so i can also change the color of this picture if i want it to be in black and white i can use that black and white if i want it to be maybe a little bit glowing and had a little bit of red tone a little bit of green tone make it like a sepia this is sepia uh just different effect you can you can have different effect to your picture this is not really basically graphics design you okay guys but you can actually use some some of these things to make the picture a little bit better in your in your document okay uh apart from that you may want to use some artistic effect which for me i i don't really know if this is this is if this is right but I don't know if you just want the picture to be negative to to have some some artistic effect which 
basically i don't know why you want to do that in a word document but you can actually use that uh don't forget you can click on reset picture to bring the picture you may want to change the picture if you have the picture then you want to change the picture this is an option to change the picture directly you want to change the picture this will take you from back to where i picked the picture if i want to change the picture to this baby then it's going to remove the former picture and put the new one and still maintain the size okay and then the picture styles you can actually put your picture in this i don't really advise this anyway but i see a lot of people using them using it but anyway but i just don't really like this it doesn't look like normally word is not meant for for graphic design okay you may want to get corel and other graphic design software so i don't know but this i just just for the sake of this class you can actually do some graphics uh do some effect on this and apart from that you want to have a border around your picture you want to have a border around your picture this is actually showing a black border i'm going to increase the size of the border at uh, the width of the border so that you can actually see so you can actually have some border around your your text okay and then if you want the text to glow the picture to glow uh the border to glow so many effects okay so that that is that but uh the, the the important one is the the wrapping of text the arrangement of text around document okay so see you in the next class